Hey guys, what's up? I'm just from Elite Baseball Blogs alongside with Richard. Richard, what's going on, man? Not too much, not too much, man. I'm gonna be on it again. Yeah, um, guys, we're, so we're here to talk about. I've been listening to a lot of ESPN stuff saying, was Carl Crawford the best thing that happened to the Red Sox, or was it a good idea resigning Victor Martinez back with the Red Sox? Um, Richard, let's start off with your opinion. Which was the better fit for the uh, Red Sox? Signing Carl Crawford or what the Red Sox would consider resigning Victor Martinez? Well, I mean, they're both obviously, you know, perennial all-stars, but I think that Crawford was, uh, well, yeah, I think Crawford was a better addition. I mean, Victor Martinez are obviously been cheaper. Uh, we look back at Victor Martinez trade with the Red Sox game with Nick Hagedon and uh, Justin Masterson for um, Obviously, the Red Sox gave Crawford a big payday, giving him a seven-year, $142 uh, or so million dollar deal. Um, I mean, they had, now they have Jacoby Ellsbury and Crawford on the outfield, but just beat a lot of stolen bases at the top of the order. Um, and, you know, I just think uh, the Red Sox, I just think that I'd rather have Jared Salda Lamarck here replace Victor Martinez and Mike Cameron. So, uh, the Mike Cameron out there instead of Crawford. Um, South Milwaukee is obviously off to a slow, slow start. He only has like four hits on the season. But I think Crawford will be better down the line for the Red Sox. I actually think that signing Victor Martinez should have been a better decision because Jason Veritex getting the age and you also have Gerard South Milwaukee, as you said, it's getting a really slow, slow start. I still think that Carl Crawford should have signed with the LA Angels because the Angels are going through a somewhat of an outfield like hard time because they're going out with guys like Peter Borjos, um, Torrey Hunter is getting somewhat of age but he can still produce in the outfield and plus you also have to think about Carl Crawford, This he has been terrific with Tampa Bay, having a great career with Tampa Bay but he's also having a slow start with Boston, I mean this guy only has one RBI um, his average is a point one three two, and I still don't. I think he could be. He could start bouncing back in the games to come. I mean, this Boston Red Sox squad tonight is getting killed by Crawford's old team, the Tampa Bay Rays, as I, as we are currently watching right now. So I still think that Carl Crawford can still improve. I still he's gonna. I think he's gonna hit maybe, uh, maybe thirteen or fourteen home runs this season. I'm um, considering he could. He should hit that, but. Uh, he could probably most likely hit 10 or 12, somewhere around that area. So, R Richard, going on to the Victor Martinez story, he's doing pretty well with uh, the Detroit Tigers right now. Do you expect anything big out of Victor while he's in Detroit? Uh, I don't expect anything big by any means, but I expect him to have a, a, a good season, uh, definitely. Um, I think that he is a much better catcher than people give him credit for. Um, he pretty, pretty much serves as a DH in Detroit right now. But I think he's uh, I think he does great behind the play. Right now he's hitting 250 with two home runs, and seven RBI. Yeah, I don't expect anything less out of him from, uh, in last season where he had 20 home runs with 79 RBIs and 302. I expect you know another 300 season with 20 home runs and 75 to 85 RBIs. Uh, love Victor Martinez and a quick update on the Rays and Red Sox game. We're in the bottom of the ninth now with one out. Donald McDonald is up with an 0-2 count. The Rays lead 16-5. Sam Fold, a career day, going 4-6 for six with two doubles, a triple, and a home run. Could have had that cycle, but he went to second instead of holding up at first. Love to see that. Yeah. Going to Victor Martinez, this guy is doing twice as better than Carl Crawford. Victor Martinez has two home runs, seven RBIs, and the point two twenty five batting average. I think the winner here has got to be that the Red Sox should have went back and signed Victor Martinez. Um, they could still work around with Euclid, Pedroia. Pedroia really showed it yesterday against the Yankees. Darnell McDonald's a great outfielder. outfielder. Daniel Nava's coming up in their up in their organization. I mean, I still think that the end at the catcher position. They've got to get a little bit more, well, Jason Veritek, yeah, he's an awesome catcher at times, but he's not always the starting catcher, but now he is, Jarosaltlamaki is starting, and then on some days it's going to be Veritek, 
So I still think that the Red Sox should have signed Victor Martinez. Richard, is there yeah. anything you want to throw in there? Uh, well, obviously, and too, uh, I mean, Victor Martinez, did, he signed a four-year, $50 million deal, which, I mean, he'll be earning, um, I think he's right, yeah, earning $12 million this year, then 13 13 and 12 Much cheaper than Crawford, who's going to be earning uh, 14 this year, and he's going to, in the final year of this contract, 2017, he'll be earning $21 million. Um, Carl Crawford only blocked deals to two clubs, but, uh, I mean, I think that VMI would have been a lot cheaper, like I said earlier, but I like Crawford. He's, he's a, a, probably one of the best, if not the best, outfielder in the game. Uh, I just, I think that, I think that uh, I would have been fine with either guy for the Red Sox. I mean, I'm not personally a Red Sox fan, but it being racing, I love either of these guys. I think any team would be happy to have come out with either one of these guys. Yeah. Um, also got a quick question for you, Richard. Do you think if the Red Sox re-sign Victor Martinez, do you think their record will be the opposite if they just sign Adrian Gonzalez? Uh, wait, can you repeat that? Sorry. If Victor Martinez, will say, if the Red Sox sign Victor Martinez and not sign Carl Crawford, and the yeah, Red Sox just traded for Adrian, do you think that the Red Sox uh, record will be a different road? Will it be like six and one or something like that? Uh, I don't think the record would have been probably any different. Uh, maybe because Crawford is obviously struggling. It's only a couple games of the season. He might might have helped them a little bit, but it's not the offense. So that's the, I mean, the offense is you know not doing so great for the Red Sox. Right now, but it's the pitching. Uh, you know, that get dazzled last night, but um, but uh, yeah, I think that. Uh, I think, um, you know, I, like I said, Victor Martinez is a great player. Uh, I think that either combination, Adrian Gonzalez and Vimar, or Adrian Gonzalez and Crawford, either one would have been great. Yeah. Great. So, there you guys have it. Who is better? Is it Carl Crawford or is it Victor Martinez? Should the Red Sox should not go for Crawford or should the Red Sox resign Victor Martinez or what's oh, the other way around? You let us know, comment below, and let us know on how what, who you think was the better choice. Was it the Red, was it better for the Red Sox to sign Crawford? Was it better, or would have been better if Red Sox re-signed Victor Martinez? Comment below, let us know on what you think it is. We'll talk to you guys soon. Enjoy some baseball, watch it, and I hope you guys have a great week.